Hello, welcome to the channel. Uh, this isn't a planned video. I'm just here today at Wilton Mill doing some, uh, just doing some bits and bobs, and uh, I come across a guy. You can see him in the background there. He's got a, a mad car. He's got a I am a Super X30, and he's sort of fabricated uh, a power valve on it and he's got a 36 mil butterfly carb on it, so it's uh, probably a rocket ship. And then he's got a Coda Sur sat next to it. So it's incredibly rare to come to a track in the, in the United Kingdom and seeing these sort of relatively rare engines. And the, and the fact that this one's bespoke and got some retrofitted power valve, uh, I could not do a video on it. So we'll have a quick chat with a guy, have a quick watch with them out on track, and then I can go in, so I'm supposed to be going home. I wasn't supposed to be making a video, but I thought it'd be cool for, for you guys to see it. And uh, this is something quite, quite unique in a, in a sort of a paddock full of road tax maxis. Hi, so this is a bit of a random one today because I wasn't I wasn't really anticipating on doing a video or anything, but I just happened to have my camera. Can you tell me a little bit about this car? Because this is an unusual engine. Well, this is an X30 Super. Generally, they they then well, it looks like they have been designed maybe for possibly a power valve. But I thought, well, since it doesn't have one, I'll um, put one in. And uh, there you go. Um, it's just I've mod made a few little modifications myself. I give it more adjustment on the spring um, and ported the engine. Not much, just a little bit. Obviously, we don't want it to uh, grenade itself. It's not probably not designed to uh, be in excess of 50 horsepower. So I think it's about there. We'll find out in a moment after we've made a few adjustments and see how it goes. So why did you why did you build it? Like, because it's, it's very unusual nowadays to, to find people that sort of mod engines like this. Well, well, I saw really up at Jade, they got the OTKs with the power valve and they use them in the racing. Obviously, I think in the championships when they do the- Okay, see yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought, well, I'll just buy the kit and then modify it obviously I've had to make my own blade and everything to suit the width of the exhaust port and everything and basically it's nothing it's not really anything new I've just copied an existing design and just customized it just to take this 175 really um, and obviously because it's, it's like a hobby for me so which is really what it's all about and it's about enjoying yourself and and just having some fun and you know, if you've got a machine shop, why wouldn't you, you know, live out really a fantasy, really? It's like, it's just a, doesn't matter, does it? You know, it's, I don't know what to say, really. It's just, it's just something to do, you know, some personal satisfaction, would I say, just to see what happens. There it's brilliant. Go. And uh, yeah. you've got a 36 mil carb on it, butterfly. Did you say you bought the carb out? No, no, I have one. I've run a 39 mil on, on there and it, I'd say it's, it does seem to go rather well, um, but I'm not sure really about bottom end. It, it's, I think it's probably the extreme. I think I th running 36, I think is a happy medium really for it. I mean, it, it's a job to say because when you're, when you're born a carb, you're having to customize it. You have to make new butterfly. You have to make new shaft. You have to make, there's a lot involved and then you have to change the jet size and you know without having a dyno it's really really difficult to, to to judge your results unless you're driving so i think it's enough enough for an old man anyway yeah more than enough and you've got a code sir as well that's which is, right which is yes. uh, for those that don't know that's what i am selling south america as like an evolution of the yes Sudan concept. and that's what i've done there that comes with a 24 mil so i've basically changed that to take a 36 it just involves making a new manifold and a new butterfly holder um, and that seems to is it's a dynamite it's actually quite a brutal cart to be fair it's um it's not for the faint-hearted anyway yes it's um interesting <laughs> I know that was quite cool, sorry for the lack of uh, extended coverage. I'm a bit busy at the moment, I've got to head, head home, but just trust me, the thing's a bit of a rocky ship. I like the sort of uh, the madness of it all, really. Don't get much of that in karting anymore, so anybody doing something cool, 
pat them on the back, promote them, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.